If you've seen movies in the last 30 years, you'd probably seen something like this. Let's make it. This is the short, condensed, and not very beginner-friendly version of a much longer video I have up on Patreon, but, you know, let's go anyway. In Blender, a software program you'd probably never heard of, grab a skull or anything you want to stretch out of a wall. It could be like a miniature schnauzer, I don't care. Animate it coming up out of the floor. You could try to animate it coming out of a vertical wall, but you'll probably end up with a headache trying to sim it that way. I mean, I, I don't know, you, you do you. See that grid on the floor? That's going to be the cloth stretch thing. It's a grid that has a subdivision of like 100 and a subdivision surface modifier on it. You could triangulate it if you want and forego the whole subdivision modifier thing. You, you do what you want as long as you get the results in the end. Once you select it and make it a cloth object, then select your object and make that a collision. You hit play and this happens. Look at that, it's, it's working and, and that's something, right? So the whole thing falls and let's, uh, let's, let's make that not happen. Select the points around the edges however you want. There are at least three ways to do that. I, I really don't care which way you do it, just make it happen. Then hit Control G. That makes it a group. In the panel for cloth, go to pin group and choose group. Now the edges don't fall, but it looks like a mess. That's okay, we're, we're getting somewhere and that's all that matters. If you want, add another grid just below the cloth you're simulating and make it collide so the cloth doesn't suck in so far. I made this cloth silk and I played with some settings until my eyes fell out and I got this. Nice. But, uh, look, the, the neck's all jacked. So, let's try turning on self-collisions, because all the YouTube experts in the comments always agree. Cool, now it looks better and it takes more time to simulate. This is a good time to make coffee and maybe, like, go out and do some dishes or something, or maybe go outside and get off the computer. So many possibilities. Once it was done and I was happy with it, I turned it up on its side so it became a wall thing instead of a floor thing, because I like wall things better. But Kev, gravity won't pull the stretchiness down and... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's a supernatural thing stretching out of a wall. Like, if that doesn't immediately suspend disbelief, get thee off the internet now. When that was done, I threw a wall grid behind it and matched it up so I could project a texture onto it. Wallpaper seemed like a good idea for this, like that house in Stranger Things or a Nightmare on Elm Street or whatever. I gave it some lighting because we don't see very well without light. Like, check out Vanta Black. Wow. I ran it through comp while giving just the wall some subsurface scattering because I thought it looked cooler and there, quick and dirty. I made it work in Blender. This effect is really fun and could use more love, but <laughs> this is YouTube. 